Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 4, Interpreting and Computing Division of a Fraction by a Fraction or Models. Okay, class for opening exercise. Write at least three equivalent fr fractions for each fraction below. Say that three times fast. Write at least three equivalent fractions for each fraction below. Okay, I'll pause the video and do these two. And when we come back, let's see if we had any that were the same. Go. Okay, now that we come back, if I just multiply the top and bottom by 2, I get 4 over 6. If I multiply the top and bottom by 3, I get 6, and so on and so on. 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, 5 times 2 is 10, 10 times 3 or 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15. 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 3 is 18. Okay, and down here, 10 twelfths, I could reduce that to 5 over 6, or I could go up 20 over 24, 30 over 36, 40 over 48, and so on, and so on, and so on. How about 15 over something? 15 over 18. All kinds of examples. Did you have any of those? So all we do is multiply the top and the bottom by the same value. Example 1. Molly has 1 and 3 eighths cups of strawberries. She needs 3 eighths cups of strawberries to make one batch of muffins. How many batches can Molly make? Use a model to support your answer. Okay, before I use a model, I'll do it mathematically. And the way I would do it is I'd take 1 and 3 eighths, and I'd say I'm dividing it by 3 eighths. But I want to convert that into an improper fraction. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 3 is 11 eighths, divided by 3 eighths. And now that I have the same denominator, a little trick we learned last class, the last lesson, the denominator is the same. We're simply taking the numerators and dividing them. So 3 goes into 11 three times. And the answer is 3 and 2 thirds. So if you don't want to make 2 thirds of a batch, then you probably round down. And the answer is 3. She can make 3 batches of strawberry muffins. Strawberry muffins. And she'd still have 2 thirds. Now she'd have enough for two-thirds of another batch. Now let's use a model to support this. Okay. So if we do a tape diagram, there's one-eighth, two-eighths, three-eighths, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 eighths, 11 eighths. Okay. Eight eighths is one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right here is eight eighths. One and three eighths. Okay, and now we're going to divide it by 3 eighths. So here's three of them. That's 3 eighths. This is 3 eighths. This is 3 eighths. And this is 3 eighths. But I only have two of them, so I need to add one more. So my answer is 1, 2, 3, thirds of another one. Three and two thirds is the answer. Example two. Molly's friend Xavier also has 11 eighths cups of strawberries. He needs three quarters of a cup to make a batch of tarts. How many batches can he make? So I'll do it mathematically first. 11 divided by 8 divided by 3 divided by 4 
Okay, now our denominators aren't the same, so I'm going to take 11 over 8 and multiply by 4 over 3. This 4 will become 1, this 8 will become 2, and I get 11 times 1 over 2 times 3, which equals 1 and 5 sixths. Not quite two batches. Let's do a model of that. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Just leave it at that for now. There's eleven eighths. Divide it by three quarters. I would need to quarter this. So if I divide that quarters, three quarters, remember, equals six eighths. That's why we did that little lesson at the beginning of class. So we have six of them one, two, three, four, five, six. These here are six eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six. These here are six eighths, but I'm lacking one. And that would be six eighths. So I have one and one, two, three, four, five of six of another six eighths. Okay. Find the quotient six divided by eight, or six eighths divided by two eight, two eighths. So 6 eighths divided by 2 eighths. I like that little shortcut that if we have the same denominator, we just simply divide the numerator and we get 3. Do it with a model. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's eight eighths, but we only have six eighths here. This is six eighths, and we're going to divide it by two eighths. There's two eighths. There's two eighths. There's two eighths. We're stopping right here. So, how many two eighths is that? Three. Example four. Find the quotient. Our denominators are not the same, so I'm going to use that other rule. Three quarters divided by two thirds equals three quarters times its reciprocal. Okay, three times three is nine, four times two is eight, nine eighths, or one and one eighth. I'm going to do a tape diagram, and we have three quarters. So we're going to split this into quarters. Right, three quarters ready so here's our three quarters and we're going to split them into two thirds what should we do three quarters two thirds um we have Houston, we have a problem. So if I think three quarters and two thirds, what is the common denominator? It's 12. So if I now break this up more and break it into 12 pieces, I have four now. So I make each fourth piece three. So there's three instead of one. There's three instead of one. There's three instead of one. And here's three instead of one. Now I have one, two, three quarters, which is the same as nine twelves. If I multiply the top and bottom by three, now we have twelve squares. Now I can do two thirds. Okay. So two thirds breaking it into thirds. 
here's three. Here's three. There's three. There's three. That would be two thirds of twelve, but that's not what I want to do. So this one's a little bit more confusing. I'm gonna get rid of that. So how we want to approach this is This is one twelfth. These are all one twelfths. Right? And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight right here. Which is eight eighths. And notice we have nine eighths for an answer. So there's eight eighths. So here would be nine eighths, another one eighth. Which is nine twelfths. So it's one eighth plus another eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eighths. So if we broke that into eights, it'd be nine eighths. Okay, that one's a little bit trickier. You might not totally understand that. I'll try to explain it on every turn. But I'll move on at this point. Alright, exercise one through five. Find each quotient. In this case, it's not asking for a model. You can do it with a model great if you want to just look at the denominators and do it that way or flip it and switch it you decide pause the video wait a few moments and get them done and then when you are finished click back and press play okay so now that we're done i'm going to take that six divided by two six halves divided by three quarters i'm going to say it's six halves times four thirds this 2 and this 4 will reduce. 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 4 twice. 3 will go into 3 once, 3 will go into 6 twice. So I have 2 times 2 over 1 times 1, and it's 4. This will become 2 thirds times 5 halves. 2's cancel, and I get 5 thirds. Or 1 and 2 thirds. 7 eighths divided by 1 half, 7 eighths times 2. The 2, it goes into 2 once, the eight, or 2 goes into 8 4 times. The answer is 7 times 1 over 4 times 1 or 1 and 3 quarters. 3 divided by 5 times 4 divided by 1. 3 times 4 is 12, 5 times 1 is 5. 5 goes into 12 twice with the remainder of 2. Five fourths times 3. 15 over 4 times 1. 4 times 3 is 12 with the remainder of 3. Okay, that's the end of lesson 4. Try the exit ticket. Do your problem size.